My name is Donna Klein. I'm pleased to spend this time with you to introduce you to my friend and colleague, Mr. Warren Mosler. Mr. Mosler is an official candidate for president of the United States of America in the coming elections 2012. His message is simple. Don't vote for anyone who wants to balance the budget. Together, Mr. Mosler and I will be posting a series of videos that help explain his economic policies and also will help you understand the premise behind his message and why it is absolutely the best way to ensure economic prosperity for all Americans. Mr. Mosler has an extensive background in finance, which began in 1973 at the Savings Bank of Manchester. Mr. Mosler spent the next decade working in fixed income and derivative trading, the drivers behind our capital system. In 1982, he started his own firm, Illinois Income Investors, and in 1983, AVM Limited. Both firms deal with institutional fixed income and derivative trading. Mr. Mosler has also published numerous papers on trading and economic policies. You can find out more about him at www.moslereconomics.com. We hope you will join us in this inspiring journey as we walk you through the realm of economic policy and strategy and explore never before publicized ways to help heal and grow the United States economy. In this video, we will discuss how to solve the banking crisis and assist all debt holders, be they individuals or corporations, just with a few simple changes in tax policy. I spoke with Mr. Mosler about the current economic problems of mortgage defaults and rising unemployment and how specifically his policies will solve them. This is a sample of what he had to say. Well, let, let me give you just one example here, and that's what's happening with the financial crisis, the recession, the banking system. And we have a banking crisis that's spilled over into the real economy. We now have unemployment heading up towards levels, towards 10% levels we haven't seen in 40 years. And it's, and it's all due just to neglect by the federal government. And let me um, uh, give you an example of, of the way they think and, and what could be done, what my proposals would be. So. The reason we have a banking issue is because the banks have bad loans. Everybody knows that you're reading about all the what they call toxic assets on the books. Well, why are the loans bad? What makes a loan a bad loan? There's only one thing that makes a loan a bad loan, and that's the people aren't making their payments. Okay, so if you have loans where people are making their payments, those are good loans. People where they're not loans where people are not making their payments are bad loans. What so the administration is faced with a problem banks have are having a problem where the loans are bad are going bad delinquencies are high people can't make they're struggling to make their payments they're losing their jobs and delinquencies and are getting worse and defaults are going up so what do they do they're funding the banking system the banks with trillions of dollars to help nurse them along and keep them alive hoping for the problem to end okay but giving and, and it works it keeps the banks alive and it helps the investors in the banks but what does it do for people trying to make their money? The delinquencies continue to go up, and they haven't done anything for to help the root cause of the financial crisis, which is people not being able to make their payments. And, and this is what I call this is what I call looking trying to solve the problem from the top down, almost like trickle down economics, rather than from the bottom up. The solution to the problem, my proposal, my immediate my proposals, which has been on the table since last. July um, is to work to restore, you know, our abilities to make our payments. Okay, mm -hmm. and so that once we can make our mortgage payments, then the financial crisis is over, the delinquencies go away, the toxic assets turn back to AAA. Now, the good news is to enable all of us, everybody who's working for a living, to payments. All the government has to do is to stop taking money away from us. They don't even have to give any money to us. Right now, our payroll taxes, the money that gets deducted automatically every week from your paycheck, is 15, they're 15% of your paycheck. That's a very large number. That's 
on a husband and wife earning fifty thousand dollars a year each, that's fifteen thousand dollars a year. Uh, half of it gets paid by the individual, and half of it gets paid by the business. And it adds up to a, a lot of money. Uh, it's about twenty billion dollars a week, which is about a trillion dollars a year. So my proposal is that rather than fund the banks with trillions of dollars to help nurse them along while we struggle to make our payments, to stop taking the trillion dollars a year away from us so that now so that we enable the private sector to be able to make their payments and end the crisis. So your point being that instead of giving money to banks, just stop taking it from the little guy. And now the little guy will be able to make the payments and subsequently the banks will get healthier because they won't have bad loans on their books. Yeah, exactly right. And, and <laughs> these taxes are also paid by business. So we're, we will also be helping small business and large business who are struggling to keep people on their payrolls, uh, you know, to get through these times. And so, um, yeah, and so it's just a completely different approach. It's a bottom-up approach rather than a top-down approach. Could it be that simple? By alleviating payroll taxes, you could lessen the burden on the American consumer. You can improve the health of every corporation. You could thus stimulate the economy and improve the employment picture. Warren Moser thinks so. And be sure to stay tuned for more of his economic policies, insights, and ideas as he makes his way to the White House 2012.